Are you surprised? <laughs> it's a big mistake to think you're the only one who can turn into a car. I'm a car now, too. The Adolescence of Utena is an odd film. Released in 1997 and directed by the acclaimed Kunihiko Ikuhara, the film is related to the earlier 1997 television series Revolutionary Girl Utena. Revolutionary Girl Utena follows the story of a girl named Utena Tenjo at Otori Academy who is dragged into a series of sword duels in order to win possession of a girl named Anti Himamiya, dubbed the Rose Bride. The series is very surrealistic and tackles many heavy topics such as gender identity, sexuality, assault, tr and trauma. The series was especially groundbreaking for 1997 when many of these topics were not being dis discussed in media at all. After the completion of the TV series, Ukuhara wished to do a telling of the story that heightened the themes of the TV series. And that film ended up being The Adolescence of Utena. Adolescence is both a sequel and retelling of the series, using the same characters in a different context in order to tell a different story connected to the original one. The film is famously even more esoteric and symbolic than the series is, and nothing about its meaning comes easily. Director Ikuhara has even refused to explain certain confusing elements, saying that he wished to leave it up to the viewer's interpretations. In a director's commentary track, he stated, Many of our friends have asked about this element, but I'd really rather not talk about it, because that would narrow the interpretation of the story. I will be analyzing the mise-en-scene of the famous Toki ni Aiwa dance scene and how it contributes to the film's many, many themes. One of the most striking things about this scene is the background. Right before the dance, Anthe had burst a water pipe and covered the rose garden with water. This causes the ground to reflect the stars, lending the setting a very dreamlike quality. The water also causes Utana and Anthe to be reflected on the ground as they dance. The reflections of the two characters are different portrayals of the characters than in reality. While one side shows their current forms, Utana hiding her gender and Anthe in her school uniform, the reflection portrays them as more free. Utana is wearing shorts and letting her hair flow below three while Anthe is wearing an outfit that resembles that of a princess. This relates to one of the film's central themes, which is that of growing up. Utena and Anthe may still be teenagers at 14 years old, but they're on the cusp of growing up and becoming more comfortable with themselves. The image of the ideal self is especially important to Utena, who's very confused about her gender identity. What's this? You're a girl? I never said that I was a boy! This scene is also shown in a way that confuses the viewer as to what, what is a reflection and what is the current Utena and Anthe. Near the end it seems like they are right side up, but a rose floats from the bottom of the screen and is revealed that to have been their dream reflection the whole time. Speaking of roses, they play a big part in this scene taking place in a literal rose garden. The rose garden is high up in the surrealistic skyline and only has one entrance into it. It's far away from anything else from but visible to all. This represents Anthe's status as the Rose Bride. In a position where people are fighting over who gets to be in possession of her, aside from Utena who's sympathetic, but she has no power to change this. This is especially evident in the TV series, where she's even more passive than in the film. Anthe is tied inherently to the roses. They represent her. Utena, it's late! What's the matter? You're tending to your roses at this hour? Well, I am the Rose Bride. This is why the roses spilling over the edge of the garden during the dance is so significant. They're falling because of the water covering the garden, something Anthe did herself. This is showing that she is finally taking agency and freeing herself from her prison without any help from others like Utena. As the thousands of roses fall from the garden, it represents how Anthe is choosing her own future for once. This ties back to the reflections, representing their futures, something Anthe had no control over beforehand. In conclusion, the mise-en-scene of the Toki ni Aiwa scene of the adolescence of Utena is a microcosm of several of the film's themes, themes from the roses representing Anthe's freedom to the water's reflection representing the two girls' ideal forms, the scene is a stunning, stunning sequence of beautifully animated and symbolic dancing. 